Welcome back to CES 2020. This is Brian Stillman. I'm here with uh, Be Terrific, but you know that because you've been sticking around with us all week long. Uh, uh, we're here. We're at the Las Vegas Convention Center, and I'm here with Dr. Shinohara, yeah. and uh, he's from RoboSense. And RoboSense, uh, you've developed a lidar system. Yes. This is designed for um, automated driving, autonomous driving, level three, four, five, uh, automated driving. Talk to me a little bit about this. What is, first of all, what is LiDAR? So, uh, LiDAR is a device which is uh, like uh, the, the eye, the human eye for the vehicle. So then, because it's uh, like uh, the camera, we, uh, we know the camera is used on the car, so then this is a LiDAR, it's using uh, active the laser, uh, the laser source or the light source to sense the environment. So then, it, it brings the eye even in the evening, so then we cannot, uh, during our driving, we cannot see it at night. So LiDAR can, uh, can see on the night using the uh, infrared light. That's really cool. So it's it's uh, you know sonar is using sound, pinging off things. This yeah. is using light, uh, using lasers to to uh, uh, and analyze the area around it. Exactly. And aid in the driving of the vehicle. Exactly. Yeah. Now, is how how prevalent is this technology on the road today? How um, common is this? Yeah. So then this technology is uh, is not so it's not new anymore. So then so we do see sometimes on the road there are the robot taxis is uh, doing some. Testing. So then we see this is a very, very big the, uh, the light that is put on top of the vehicle. It's uh, it's uh, rotating on the top. Right. So then, uh, but uh, that kind of the light is uh, normally it's just for testing. So then what we developed, we developed a very, very tiny, very small, just this size, and it's very, very easy to put into the car and to hidden in the car. What only from outside you can see is this eye window. So then this is this uh, this window is the only thing you can see from outside the car. It's not so big. Uh, the rotating device is on the top, so then every the passenger cars, the normal cars, which for the uh, the normal people can have it. So, how long was RoboSense working on it to get it from the big car top unit? Down to something like this. Uh, yeah, the company was established in 2014. So then, for this technology, since 2016, we started to do the development, and now it's three years past. So finally, we achieved this is a device, and now it's very mature enough. We are uh, collaborating with a lot of the different uh, the car makers, the uh, uh, OEM. So then, they are already put this device into their car, do some of the testing, do some make sure they are the autonomous driving, the functionalities are safe. They are able to know the vehicle. Are able to know the very very precise the, the the location it is also know where is the pedestrian where is the people where is the cars to make a safe driving. What changed that allowed the technology to go from the rooftop with a larger device to something smaller like this? What advancements did you have to make to, to get it into a box like this? Uh, yeah, we called this one as a solid state lidar. So then the older one is like the mechanical lidar. Mm. So then as a, quite similar like what is our hard disk. The older generation is using the uh, a motor to rotate the disk. So then that is this size. Now we have the, all our the laptops. It's so thin, so small. Mm. Or even a memory card. This solid state uh, technology can bring is uh, small. What we are using here, we inside internally in, instead of using a big motor to do the scanning or environment, we use um, uh, we call the MEMS based uh, the scanner, the meter, the, the technology. It's a very very tiny the meter inside. Mm. It's to scan. And the environment. So we bring up from this uh, the huge motor into a uh, world where micrometers. Yeah. Wow. Um, and all you need is one of these on the car. Uh, yes. Forward thinking, uh, forward, forward, forward viewing. Um, let me ask you, you know, obviously you've given a lot of thought to autonomous driving and yeah. automated driving. What excites you most about this technology, about the technology of automated cars moving forward? You know, where we're going to be in like five years, 10 yeah. years, what are you most excited about? Yeah, so then, as, as we know, so then uh, you including in the most of the, uh, let's say, American cities, so then during the uh, the traffic, it's a lot in the highway, a lot of traffic is ongoing. So it takes uh, a lot of time to consume from the home to the working place. So then it's quite boring 
during the traffic. So then what is uh, by the uh, uh, by the autonomous driving, what, which can enable is uh, you can read the book, you can look, uh, watch some of the movies, you can uh, do some of the telephone calls so, uh, with your friend or with or even the, do some of the te telephone conference with your or let's say partners. So then we could do not lose the time during the driving. So then this is uh, uh, what uh, we really we uh, we want to have this autonomous driving and cars possible. It's on the market. So then it can free our times and also most important about that uh, no every year we have a lot of accident uh, during the driving so then yeah. when it's uh, something when you're quite uh, tired so then it's quite uh, uh, easy to lose your concentration but the machines is not the device the sensors is not so it's uh, working 24 hours without uh, the uh, uh, rest so then it can still it's uh, working precisely so then this is also very, very important uh, to reduce the accident to keep the driving safe yeah so it's really to enhance the experience of driving make it more productive, but also make it a lot safer. Exactly. Um, I think that's really the goal. Um, when when do you expect to see this technology uh, on the road uh, in in a full sort of uh, rollout? Yeah, uh, we are we are already collaborating with some of the car makers, so that they are going to have our this device on the road from the next year to do some of the uh, we call the level three autonomous driving already. Yeah, great. Uh, well, Dr. Shinohara, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for showing us this technology. Thank you uh, very much. Lidar, it's one of the pieces of tech that's going to be bringing us automated cars. Cars, autonomous cars, levels three, four, five, self-driving cars, the future. Uh, I'm still waiting for my flying cars, though. <laughs> we don't have those yet. Yeah. Um, this is Brian Stillman. I'm here with Be Terrific. We're at CES 2020, bringing you coverage of the last day, the final day. Stick around. We'll have so much more for you.